is the ulama say that the sunnah of holding the hands in dua, they say the following things. And they say at the place where of the body you hold the hands. So they say you hold the hands. Some of them say at chest height. Others say around shoulders or higher chest or around shoulders. And others say on your, uh, by your face. So if I don't specify or I indicate through uh, showing it this uh, height of the chest or something, most of the time you can do it a little higher to your face or higher than shoulders. So it, all of it goes. So the first one they say, they say dua al mas'al. It's dua of asking Allah. And that is you hold your hands with the palms of your hands facing the sky. The palms of your hands facing the sky, the, the back of your palms facing the ground, the back of your palm facing the ground. Some ulama mentioned also for this is that you then lower your head so that you're looking into your palms. So your palms are facing your head because it's lowered, looking at your hands, looking at your hands and it's facing the sky. This is one of the sunnah methods of keeping your hands, keeping your hands uh, in dua, in salah. The second one they mention is, um, <laughs> And the second one they mention is to raise uh, to raise your hands so that the palms are facing your face and the back of your hands are facing facing the qibla facing the qibla so that means it's it's like this or like that so that's the second manner of doing it it's the second manner in salah that is permissible second manner in salah that is sunnah so um, the third manner is to to raise just your forefinger, to raise your shahada finger, your forefinger, I like how you do it in tashahud. Either clasp the, uh, the thumb and the middle finger and the others are folded, or all the fingers folded, you and your uh, finger points upwards. Ibn Abbas who said, this is ikhlas. So this is done, he says, it's done when istighfar or in praising Allah, or like for the khatib, the imam on the mimbar, he raises his finger. Then the second or third last one is that you hold your hands with the ulama say you hold your hands uh, you hold the back of your hands are facing your face and the palms are facing are facing the qibla so it's basically like this the back of your hands are facing your face and they say this is dua of somebody uh, who needs the help of Allah somebody needs the dua of somebody fearful and they also dua of nabi the person who is like when he lifts his hands like this he's kind of throwing the dunya away and he's focused solely Allah, on Allah and he needs Allah only. So holding your hands like this or like that, that would be the, the third or the, or the fourth manner. Uh, the fourth manner. And then the fifth manner, second last one, is that you hold your hands in a manner where, where you raise them so high that the palms are towards the sky. And the back of your hands, the back of your hands are towards the floor, kind of towards your face. So you're holding it up like this. You're holding it up with the... So this is also dua of istisqa is also done like that. So your, your armpits are kind of showing with your hands are raised high or above your head. Um, your, your palms facing the sky, the back of your hands facing the ground. And this, this manner is makruh in salah. Because why? Because then you might look up. And looking up in salah is makruh according to all the madahib. Um, except in one instance for benefit, and that is when you burp. And the ulama say, here you look up so that your burp goes upwards and doesn't affect those around you. And the last manner of holding your hands in dua is where you hold them, you raise them so high up. And now you raise them so high up that it kind of seems like it, it's uh, that the back of your hands are facing the sky and the palms are facing your face. The back of your hands are facing the sky and the palms are facing your face like this kind of, but it's lifted really high. Rasulullah wasallam prayed like this in the night of Bidr and other situations when you were told the need of Allah and this fear of something he did the night of Bidr that his uh, coat that he was wearing fell off because you raise it so high and like this that it falls off. Um, so it's kind of the back of the hands are facing the sky. Some ulama like Ibn Taymiyyah says the back of the hands are not facing the sky, but it looked, it's so high raised that it looked like that. And other ulama like the Shafi'i scholars say that um, when it's a dua, when you want to ask Allah for something, when you want to ask Allah for something, like uh, to get something, then your the palm should face the sky. The palm should face the sky. And if you want Allah to remove a difficulty or calamity, then the back of your hand should face should face the sky. And you mentioned this, the one like this, where, where you raise your hands above your head. Others say it's you raise it to chest height, to face height, but you instead of, but you raise your hand, you put the back of your hands are to the sky. So we said just now you raise it chest height, the, the palms are to the sky, and the back are to the ground. But here you switch it around, you flip it around. That the back of your hands are towards the sky and the palms are to, towards that towards the ground. So here, some Shafi'i scholars that says that this means that this means that um, like you ask Allah to change the situation. You're asking Allah to change the situation. So that's why you flip your hands out of optimism to Allah to change the difficulty you in or whatever situation you in. Uh,